episode 327. Hello, lovely ladies. Welcome to the Sophie's Choice podcast show. My name is Sophie. I'm a psychologist and an energy shifter, and I do things quite differently than all the other law of attraction coaches out there. Manifesting is truly about the art of allowing. You do not manifest by meditating or reading LOA books. So forget everything you think you know about running a successful business and about the law of attraction and get ready to manifest beyond your wildest dreams. Let's get going. Unique and perfect is what you are. A miracle will come true. Sophie's choice. So I have to actually talk very quietly because she's sleeping. But I had this magnificent, like, in-depth download the other day. And I was sort of, I, I, I had the download and I had a clear vision of it. But then this afternoon I listened to a podcast and then like it totally made sense to me. And I'm like, oh my God, this is what you guys have been meaning all along. So what they showed me this week is that we got it all wrong. That we have this, that that we have a serious relationship issue not with ourselves not with our spouses not with money not with wealth not with our children we have a serious serious well it's not even a relationship issue it's a battle between the divine feminine energy and the divine masculine energy so they showed me like two uh two slides to two pieces and then on the left hand you have the feminine energy and then on the right hand you have the masculine energy but they showed me that both sides so the masculine and the feminine both actually have two two frequencies that you can tap into and then they actually showed me that the majority of the people that are actually listening to this podcast, I, I truly believe I get the downloads specifically for for us, they showed us, they showed me that we are collectively tapping in to the lower end of the divine feminine frequency and the lower end of the masculine energy. So, the, the reason why I think I received this download is because I got to a point in my business that I got a little scared of the masculine energy. So, in the beginning of my uh, divine journey, um, I had a lot of masculine energy. And then at a certain point that tiptoed to the divine feminine energy. And, oh, I'm saying it the wrong way. They say, no, 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 no. They show me, no, you did not. (laughs) Okay, I did not. Maybe a little, guys. Okay. (laughs) They show me. I tapped in to partially the divine feminine energy, but also partially the non-divine feminine energy. Well, we can have a discussion about what is divine and non-divine, since in 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 the um, in source everything is of course actually divine. But we let's for the, the sake of this conversation make an, an um, a difference be- between the divine and the non-divine. So. The non-defined feminine energy is the energy that feels like they have to retrieve all the time, that they have to escape all the time, that they have to have a lot of uh, alone time, that they have uh, that they need a lot of time to process things. Um, The non-defined energy, (laughs) define the non-defined feminine energy, is the type of energy that is scared of other energies that is scared that she can do something right or wrong that there is such a thing as right or wrong 
the non-defined feminine energy feels guilty, feels like she's not enough. That's the non-defined feminine energy. So the non-defined uh, masculine energy, that's the type of energy you typically see in uh, the, the really masculine webinars. So that's the kind of energy that we see a lot of uh, going on in sales, like the really pushy energy. The energy where they say now or never or you die, uh, so to speak. That's the energy that you feel like you're really pushing instead of allowing. That you're doing it in a way that is non-gracious. Non -gracious. So the divine masculine energy also pushes. Maurice said this very interesting thing to me the other day. He said, you gotta keep pushing the mentorship. And I'm like, but pushing is masculine. But then they gave me this download. Oh my God, so if you have a difference between divine masculine energy and non-divine masculine energy, there is nothing wrong with pushing. Uh, better said, pushing is part of the divine masculine energy but pushing in a gracious way. There is a difference in how you can push things. You can sh uh, shove it down somebody's throat uh, with a hammer. <laughs> I'm seeing this, <laughs> this, this image in my mind <laughs> of somebody truly like, like shoving it into your face on a very, in a very horrible way. And then you have a very gracious way where you present it to your soul customers, where you show it to them and where you uh, motivate them and cheerlead them to make the decision that's going to change their life. But you still leave the room for the divine. You still are speaking to the divine part of your customer. And then you have, of course, also the divine feminine energy and the divine feminine energy is so gracious and she is so, oh, I don't know, I don't even know how to, to explain it. She is like totally aligned and she might take moments off, certainly, but it doesn't need to be 72 hours, for example. So the other weekend I was like, oh, I got a, I got a retrieve. So that was definitely my female energy. And I, it started as divine feminine energy. I was like, okay, I just, I just, I need to retrieve. I feel like I really want to connect again to that spirit energy. And it's a good thing I did because I got so many downloads this weekend. Um, but I also noticed an old pattern coming up and it all of a sudden felt like, hey, I'm doing that thing again. I am not retrieving to actually make connection with spirit. I'm fleeting and that's a different kind of energy. So the fleeting is the non-defined feminine energy. The retrieving is the divine feminine energy. So then I had this beautiful conversation with Maurice and I said to him, I did it again. I I I I I, I I I I I wanted to retrieve, but then it started to feel like hiding. And he was like, "Well, then stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it." There's this funny, hilarious uh, YouTube video. You 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 should you should definitely uh, search that. If you just search "stop it" on YouTube, you'll get it. It's like this shrink and a patient and it's it's hilarious and uh, Maurice and I use it a lot in our conversations to each other to actually help each other uh, to get out of the non-defined either feminine or masculine energy so for me it was such a aha moment that so before I got this download I actually classified all the things that weren't good 
I classified that as masculine energy. So there was this really, really um, messed up, messed up um, relationship between my feminine and masculine energy because I labeled the masculine energy as wrong, but the feminine energy as better but neither of them felt right when I was actually in a non-defined part of it. But then, of course, I have I've had millions of moments that I was in the divine feminine energy or in the divine masculine energy. But because I wasn't shown this picture before, where I where I actually could see how those two or four actually relate to each other, it it, it was so messed up in my mind. And I'm like, oh my God, I get it, I get it, I get it. I love this divine feminine energy. And I love this divine masculine energy. And they love each other. They coexist so well. So it's so funny. So a lot of siblings around me are fighting. And I'm actually at this point not at the best terms with my sibling. And all of a sudden I'm thinking... Oh my god. We like that's like the perfect example of how most people have their relationship between the, the between the feminine and the and the masculine energy. And when we restore that, when we understand this this differentiate differentiation, um then we can actually we don't even I want to say heal, but we don't even need to heal. As soon as we get this, and I got it big way by the by the by this download that they gave me, and I hope you're getting it as well, it's instantly fixed. You don't need to heal anything, it's fixed. Because now we understand, now we understand that uh, both the feminine and the masculine have two parts, the divine part and the non-divine part. And I'm truly, truly excited to share this with you oh my god i have so many podcasts recorded um at least i have two recorded right now but then i feel like there are coming so much more there are coming so much more episodes the upcoming weeks that i'm like oh my god how are we going to do this but that's actually taken care of by uh, my divine masculine part because my divine masculine part of my business outsources these things. So my so oh that's an interesting one too. Your non-divine, your non-divine masculine energy would actually want to do that all by itself. They would be like, no, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna hustle, I'm gonna grind, I'm not gonna outsource that. But when you tap into your divine masculine energy, you would actually outsource that and you would definitely outsource those masculine types of jobs. You want to outsource it to somebody who is in that divine energy, of course. Um, but that's just, oh, that's so interesting. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So I'm not even sure what I'm going to do today. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to say as well. So what they also showed me is that the divine masculine and the divine feminine, they coexist so well. And they actually, they, um, they, they better each other. So as soon as you do something in the divine masculine, then actually the divine feminine gets activated again. And then the divine feminine sort of stirs up the divine masculine again. And that way you go up and 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 up. And up on the skill, and they say no. So skill is not the right word. It's not a skill. It's a spiral. 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 You go up. 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 And that is actually how we also tune into that divine wealth frequency. So I've already mentioned in the last episode that we all have this divine wealth portal in our bodies and it's so important that we 
get to the point that we realize that we do not have any money manifesting wealth whatever you want to call it issues that is a non-existence case that is not the case you do not have to heal anything you just need to discover where in your body are the portals the wealth portals that you want to tap into where are the portals where you get your downloads from where are the portals where you can actually tune in and vision uh, envision big things happening so we have all these different portals in our body and it's actually just a matter of understanding how to tap into those portals to actually allow your wealth to to like to it's so difficult sometimes for me to to explain what i'm seeing because i'm talking and then they're showing me stuff in my mind and then i have to translate it i'm like oh my god guys how in the world do you want me to explain this so it's not even because i also have to do it in english i don't have to but i chose to so it's like it's it's flowing it's flowing through us but it's not even only flowing it's like it's it's like integrated it's going through our veins it's like we are the embodiment of wealth when we discover those portals so that is so magnificent wow okay deep stuff very very deep stuff and if this is the stuff that i get to share with you guys in the episodes i don't even want to know what i'm gonna share with you guys in the mentorship program since they literally showed me that this is like a guarded way of me sharing my information so i am not allowed anymore to go too deep into this material in the podcast i mean i can shine a light on it like i'm doing right now but the in-depth stuff needs to happen within my mentorship program that needs to happen for the people who actually bought the key the key to the door and that doesn't matter if you did it as an alchemist as a bringer of truth or an adventurer all three get their beautiful key to enter this magnificent wealth mentorship program i'm so excited because they showed me a beautiful beautiful gift box which i'm going to create what i'm going to channel actually for those three groups so i have this beautiful place where i buy my stones and um, um, I'm planning on going there. Well, first I want to go this week, but that doesn't make sense since I want to channel uh, for everybody who enters the, the the mentorship program. I actually want to channel which stone has to um, has to be placed in their gift box. So I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm just gonna buy one stone. I'm gonna buy that for everybody. Uh, blah 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 here's your gift box no i really want to channel which stone represents or will activate uh, that person's wealth frequency in the strongest way so it doesn't really make sense for me to go this week so i should do that probably um in the last week the last week before doors close and the doors will close on the first of april so um, um, don't wait too long join the wealth frequency mentorship and truly truly discover what happens when you start playing at this whole different level i mean i'm seeing things that i could literally not see before and the same information has been there all along but i couldn't see it because i was playing at a different level and just shifting to to english not just but that was a major major step um helps me see now at a different level and it's like every day i'm finding this clue and it, it can be a word or it can be a situation or it can be a sign and then all of a sudden it's like i don't i can't even explain it it's like sort of a computer game in my mind and this word triggers its other thing and this other thing and i get its downloads and it's truly truly an amazing amazing journey 
So um, I don't know by the time that you listen to this recording how many spots we have left, but just tune in right now for one second and just ask yourself, which type of manifester do I resonate the most with? Do I resonate the most with the adventurer? Do I resonate the most with the bringer of truth? Or do I resonate the most with the alchemist? Whichever three, whichever one of these three you resonate the most with, that is the um, the pricing plan that you want to enter the mentorship program into. So when you go to um, sophieschoice.com slash wealth, you will actually see three pricing plans where you can step into the program. The adventurer, the bringer of truth, and the alchemist. And um, depending on the answer you just got, that is the um, the plan, the pricing plan you want to pick. And I will, in the mentorship program, channel the information for all three groups. So everybody receives the Pinterest boards and everybody receives the voice memos and everybody receives the the visualizations and everybody receives my one-on-one coaching. But what I will present in those things will be channeled um, uh, on the frequency of either the adventurer, the bringer of truth or the alchemist. Yes. So tune in and then take your divine masculine action and let your money journey, your wealth journey begin. One more thing. When we are talking about, there are, when I'm saying there are no, um, um, okay, no, this is not the right thing to say. They're not giving me the words. Let me tune in for one second. Okay. What they're actually showing me on the background, you can hear, um, I have a little light next to me. It's a bunny and she makes these noises. They're like noises to help the baby sleep better. And they're actually just like, okay, so just shut up for a second. Let them listen to the sound and then they will hear the answer speaking through them from their own divine masculine and feminine energy and they will know exactly what to do. So just listen to the sound for a while and then we will actually tune out and I hope to see you in the Wealth Frequency Mentorship. Bye for now.